What's up guys, this is Lee Vandal. We're going to be playing some Rogue Legacy here. Uh, this is actually my second recording of starting a new game because uh, the camera was covering up half the text. This is a game that a buddy of mine showed me. Uh, usually, usually I'm not too big on uh, side scrollers. Uh, this one's pretty fun, especially to kind of break the monotony of uh, of a lot of games. In a nutshell, in this tutorial, you're playing like uh, the first in a long line of people that uh, are entering this castle looking for. Immortality. <clears throat> so there's the tutorial. Now we start our legacy with the first kid. Journal entry number one. Hmm. Yes, I'll be going to the Cursed Castle alone without my brothers and sisters. That can only go well. Oh god, off to a oh, that's not even fair. Oh god. Um good god. But yeah, basically uh each of your each of your children inherit whatever your predecessor got. And what's really entertaining is each of these characters are going to have uh, different traits, some of them positive, some of them negative. So like you got Endomorph here, you can't get knocked back. Uh, oh, and uh, Permaroided, so your attacks knock enemies even further. Walking tank. Uh, and that's a barbarian, barbarian, all barbarians. May as well go with this dude. And then you start building up your castle, which I have done right now. Or your, uh, it shows up as a castle, but it's like, you'll start gathering a bunch of stuff that goes before the actual castle, really. And this guy takes all your damn gold every time. Hey, you the castle. Oh, and the castle's randomly generated every time, too. Yeah, that's the same one, right? Yep. There's like 24 journal entries, I think. I think you can actually reread the... Why spikes? And these damn jumping platforms that are the bane of my existence. This is unfair. Um, that's okay, but that's really not what I want. One thing you learn pretty quickly in this game is it's really not beneficial to fight the enemies more often than not. You kind of want to get good at avoiding them. Fuck. That's a good start. So what do we got now? Uh, Spellcaster with OCD. Which is actually kind of an awesome trait. 
get mana for breaking crab. Blade wall that he has is also kind of cool. <laughs> Alzheimer's, you have trouble remembering where you are, so you're not making a map as you go through. Dyslexia, you have trouble rioting things. Uh, we'll try out this mage. There's our first unlockable. Bit too expensive for anything we will be doing anytime soon. Yeah, sure, take my 10 gold. Eventually unlock some uh, abilities that... takes less of your gold. Like, you get to keep 10%, I think, is the first one. Or it might even be less. It might be, like, 5%. So, what's down here? All sorts of bullshit. What's well, down here? Other bullshit. Oh, hold on. What did I miss up here? What is that? That is a locked chest. And if you look up here, you see that uh, faded brick. You have to be a dwarf to get through there, which I am not. This just, just seems uncool. Did that go over me? It does go over me. Aha! That actually worked out better than expected. Okay, blueprints are awesome later on, but I'd really love gold. up, MP up, we'll go health up. of death. Ugh. Oh, I'm not doing stereo blind. Colorblind sucks too. Well, I guess we're gonna be this one. Dagger's a decent spell, though. My buddy t -Pat's gonna be watching this and he's gonna just hang his head in shame. He's the one that turned me on to this game, so he's gonna be watching me suck and just not be happy. In my defense, it has been a while since I've played. If you do get hit, take advantage of the hyper armor that you get for a minute, because 
Nothing will hurt you for a minute. Oh. About a second, but... Use walls to your advantage. I should die with enough for an upgrade after this. So I'm probably going to end this one after this. Oh, that's not cool. Well, let's try it. Okay guys, we're going to end this one here for now. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.